what's going on everybody eric ray with the back here with some maximum football 2019 gameplay y'all know that i've talked about this game on the channel uh over the past few months as it was in development it came out today it's on playstation 4 and xbox the digital stores 30 dollars game it is an indie game so i wanted to play it for you guys a lot of you wanted to me to show it on the channel when it came out so you can see you got play now you can edit teams you could have season play you've got dynasty which i think is probably the selling point of the game and then you have you know a practice field as well you can play under college or canadian rules it is made uh it is a canadian company that makes the game so you could play the u.s college rules or u.s canadian uh which is pretty cool so it gives you like both of the formats as well uh, you see for quarter length, I'm just going to put it on three. I'm just going to start a dynasty here and kind of show you guys what's in it and play a game for you guys to show the gameplay. You can see you can choose like the referee style. You could have them fair. You could have him be like easy. You could have them be strict or you could just have them not care at all. Uh, so we just put it on fair. You can see you have a bunch of custom teams to choose from. I will say I think they did a good job in terms of the teams in the game, the selections. Uh, a lot of them seem to be kind of loosely based off real life teams. Um like in terms of how the jerseys and color schemes are but of course the names and the logos and stuff like that's different you can see like the tuscaloosa loose of pride is probably the uh crimson tide i went with the baton rouge jesters because uh i'm an lsu fan so that was the team kind of based off of lsu and you'll see even their jerseys look a lot like lsu you can see you got your prospects that you could recruit you got your top 100 board and things like that and i think this is really the big strength of the game is the recruiting and the team building uh because with current football games we, ha we have nothing like that you know obviously madden's franchise mode isn't very in depth in terms of actual team building and things like that scouting and, and things like that so I think this is probably one of the bigger selling points of this game is the actual dynasty and recruiting stuff. If you're a person that's a fan of those types of things, I think you might actually like this uh, game in terms of that standpoint. And I'll show a little bit more at the end of the video of like the types of options you have in terms of recruiting players, which I think is, is pretty is pretty darn good for an indie game. Uh, this game is made by three people, <laughs> to my knowledge, and I, I believe only one of them is an actual game developer. So. The reason a lot of people are, are kind of excited about this game or have been behind it for the past year or so is because they're kind of just behind the movement. Um, they want to, you know, help back them because they're, they're making improvements every year. And it's about if you can support them, where can they take the game? Because if you saw what the game looked like last year compared to this year, definite big jump. Like, graphically, this game does not bother me at all because I can still play PS2 games. I can still play early Xbox 360 PS3 games that look similar to this and have a bunch of fun because the gameplay was good or you know just the way the games are put together were really good the the thing with this game that isn't fully there yet is 100 percent the gameplay and if you're expecting madden level or ncaa level gameplay or all pro football 2k8 gameplay you're not going to get that with this game because they're a new company they've only been at this for a little bit they only have three guys like i said i believe only one of them is an actual game developer so, as you can see, completing a nice pass here over the middle. You know, it's not going to be a AAA game. It's an indie game. And I think a lot of people see this and they're like, oh, this doesn't look good, right? But you have to understand what an indie game is. Uh, indie game is not anywhere on the same level as a AAA game that has, you know, thousands of people, hundreds of people, or thousands of people working on a game that have, you know, millions of dollars that are at their disposal, right? But I will say... Gameplay wise, I still felt a little disappointed with the game. I knew not to expect a whole crazy lot because again, it is an indie game, but I thought it would be, I thought the movement would be a little bit better than it was. I thought it, it would be a little bit easier to maneuver around. It took me a little bit through this first game, kind of about a, a half of playing to kind of get more of a hang of like how you have to move with the players. It's, it's very, very different than anything like Madden or NCAA that you you know have experienced it at any point over the last five to ten years it's just trying to kick a field goal here and you could see just the kicking in this game i've heard is really really hard and it's not very good and i mean as you can see on that field goal there i didn't even get close to it but um you know it, when you're used to how the current games move this game is gonna it's gonna throw you off uh, quite a bit it, it's definitely clunky it definitely feels like when the ball's in the air you know, like once the ball is snapped, it feels like you don't have much control over the outcome. You have a little bit of control, but not a whole lot, especially once the ball's in the air. Like right here, for example, like th those are the instances that are tough. And then my guy just runs off into the stands and he's still going, still going. Uh, but which is funny, though, because you still you see stuff like that happen in Madden, too. As much money and as many people and, 
you know, as big of a company as EA is, you still see things like that happen in Madden, people running off into the stands, you see guys, uh, you know, when the ball's in the air, you kind of have complete control here, right before half, we make a big play with 20 seconds left, and at this point, I'm starting to kind of get the hang of it a little bit, we make a big play, and we're able to tie the game up, luckily, uh, because it was kind of looking rough before that, in week one of our dynasty here with the Baton Rouge Jesters, but yeah, I mean, even Madden still has some of those problems with as much time, money, and years put into their game, so that's not something to, like, completely hold against them, but, it, you know, it is a little bit of a, a, it's definitely some clunky gameplay. Here, we're actually able to make the extra point just barely. Uh, that seems like the only time you can get the ball through the uprights is for, like, those extra points when you're just right up on the field goal post and you're right down the middle. Outside of that, it's really hard to kick the ball. Uh, running, you know, once I kind of got a little bit more of the hang of it, the speed button is different controls on this game so once I kind of like figured that out it wasn't it wasn't as hard to move the ball it feels like when you move with the players in the open field you kind of almost like you swerve around a little bit you want to like almost like zigzag around because running in like a straight line doesn't always seem the most beneficial it seems like you kind of make more things happen when you swerve here making another big play to a post route seemed like post routes in this game were, were very easy to complete they were the easiest passes to complete for me uh, especially it seems like you know they just got open pretty frequently and pretty easily here we got a streak down the sideline he blew right past the defensive back and we're going to go in for another touchdown as the Baton Rouge Jesters are going to be up a touchdown now but you can see like I said it clearly looks like the LSU jerseys just different logo on the helmet pretty much but it's exactly how their jerseys look um, which is pretty cool so it's like they have the actual teams in a sense obviously the players aren't real uh, but they have like similar like uniforms and stuff here not sure what happens here But he's gonna dive and we're gonna get a safety. So we're just cheating them. We're glitching the game We're breaking the game already Kicked the ball in the perfect spot bounced around the guy dove So now we're up 16 7 and we got the ball back because it's a safety So that's good and they're coming with a blitz here and just completely annihilate us But uh, yeah, they have like their, their, their teams are kind of based off real life teams just different names different logos Obviously not the real players but what is really cool about this game, too, is it has a very in-depth logo editor. You know, you can edit the uniforms. You can pretty much make the, the real college team if you want. I mean, people were doing that in last uh, the last version of the game. There's videos of that on the internet where people were creating the actual logos and teams and changing the names and changing the players. Uh, obviously, that's a lot of work to do. Not something I'm going to do <laughs> at all, but that option is there if you want to do that, which I think is cool. But all in all, it, it is what it is. It's an indie game. The gameplay is, 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 it's rough, it's not anything like what you're used to, and here, again, another post route, and we're gonna wiggle free for a touchdown once again, I, like, kinda just blowing them out, we're playing on the, on the intermediate difficulty here, not easy, not too hard, because I've never played this before, so I didn't wanna just put it on hard right off the bat, but it, it, it it's a tough game to play, and I'll be honest, I, if, if you're, if you wanted to get this for the gameplay, I don't, I wouldn't recommend it for that. I got it because I wanted to support it. I think that's why a lot of people are into this game. They want to support. It's the first college football game since NCAA 14. It's not licensed, but it is a college football game. It has the dynasty mode. It has the in-depth recruiting and team building and things like that. So that's kind of got people excited, but it's about, you know, if they get backing, if they get money, we've seen what they've done over the past few years, the, the, the steps they've taken. They've grown uh, and gotten better significantly each year. So five years from now, if they keep getting support and they can actually bring in more game developers, like honestly, the fact that this was done basically with like one game designer, like the graphic designer guy and one developer, when you look at it from that standpoint, it's pretty amazing how, how well put together it is because a game like Madden and NCAA, you know, they have hundreds and hundreds of developers working on that. Like it's, it's not even close and they have tons more money. So, you know, if these guys can get 50 developers and they can get, you know, more money. They can make a really good game in five years. They can compete. And if you want a game to compete with Madden, well, you know, to have another football game on the market, you have to support the, the possibility for one. And this is the best possibility for one. Uh, but if you're getting this for gameplay to like, you know, bring back that NCAA feel, this is not really going to do that for you. I wouldn't put down NCAA 14 for this. I wouldn't put down NCAA 11 for this. I think those games are still more fun and better to play, for my opinion. I just think it, it's a good idea to support 
you know, what the future could hold. But if you are a person that's more into the simulation stuff, as you see here, going through recruiting, the deep recruiting options you have, you can call players, you can text them, you can pitch them on all these different things about your program, and you can see how their interest level moves. You can call them, you can do a call for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. You can pick all of these things. You can decide if you want to, you know, sell hard or kind of just do a soft sell, or if you want to just try to persuade them on the on the university like the options in terms of recruiting and team building are actually really really good so if you're a person that's more into like the simulation aspect of building a team which a lot of people are that you know play ncaa and play madden they'll go into a franchise or a dynasty they'll build the team and they'll just simulate the games and they want to see how the team performs and then each offseason you know they're recruiting they're bringing guys in they're signing guys whatever the case may be they're trying to build up the program and then simulate it and try to have them you know become a dynasty win championships but they're not actually physically playing the game if that's the type of fan you are i think this game actually would definitely fill your interest i think it would definitely be something you would be into for that aspect 100 percent because no current game right now has any type of dynasty or recruiting that's this deep um even in some aspects i would say there, there's certain aspects about this that's deeper than the last ncaa games we've gotten so if you're that type of player i definitely think you would like that but from a gameplay perspective it definitely is rough it definitely still has a long way to go and it's an indie game so it's to be expected so just wanted to kind of put this out there for y'all y'all said y'all wanted to see it so i'll put it out there uh that's just my thoughts on the game i i'm gonna still be an ncaa 14 guy in terms of getting my college fixed but i do think that this game has its place and can serve its purposes to some of you guys out there so just wanted to put it out there give you my thoughts and feedback on it and just let you know that that option is out there if you didn't know about this game so hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think below and as always i will see you guys next time